quick video. If you saw my intro to the 12 volt system, I talked about all the stuff that I'm gonna install. I have about 80% of it installed right now. I'll show you that stuff. I only really needed the inverter and the fridge. Uh, I mentioned I was going away with my wife, my kid, my dogs. We're staying in a house. I have, we have a one-year-old, the kid's one-year-old. We're not gonna stay in the truck for two weeks. So, uh, so we're staying in a house, but it's on the beach. So we can take the truck to the beach, do some cooking, do some you know, hanging out, uh, you know, fire pit type stuff, cook some burgers. So that's why we wanted the fridge. And the location too that I have it right now is temporary until I have a more permanent solution, probably up here somewhere, or maybe on the other side. I'm not, I'm not totally sure yet. But yeah, I would like the box. I'm using, I'm using this cabinet as the current location. I would like this to be all storage at you know, some point in the future. So let me set the camera up. I'll show you how, how I have it installed. I'll show you the stuff that I, I'll tell you about the stuff that I left out and, uh, and I'll tell you why I left it out. All right, so you can see right here when I have 1100 watt inverter, this is my charge controller. That's a 30 amp dual charge controller. This is my 100 amp lithium. And right there, you can see a fuse. That's for the inverter. And all these wires, I'll explain them to you very simply. This wire, this small wire, and this small wire are coming from the fridge that I have hooked up. This goes right to the battery. If you remember, when I talked about my intro video, I had a fuse panel that I was going to install. I haven't installed that yet. I just went straight to the battery. Works completely fine. There's no reason why you, why you can't do that. Um, my fridge has a fuse in it, so that's great. I would not have done, well, I would have put an inline fuse in here if, if, uh, if I needed one, but I don't because it's, it's, it's fused. There's a, a fuse on the outside of the, uh, the back of the fridge, which is great. This power right here comes from the Renogy right there. And that's powering, that's, that's putting the power to the 100 amp lithium. And the power is, is coming from the 100 watt solar panel that I have on the roof. And then this is a ground, this ground really got lucky with this ground. This ground's obviously going from the battery, then it's going to the side of the bed. I took off the tie down and wouldn't you know it, all I had to do was just grind off some, some bed liner and I just got a new Cora 20 bolt, bolted it right to the side of the bed, works great. Now the inverter, technically I don't really even need this right now, but it was a very simple to install. All I did was just, there's the power right here, screwed it in, the ground is very tough to see, but it's right over here, grounded. I actually have four wires connected to the ground on this battery. And then I have it screwed to this wall. And if I wanted to, I could plug something into it right now and it works fine. And you can see the three lights I have. This blue light means that uh, I'm on a lithium battery. There's a, there's a setting button in here where if you have AGM or you have lead acid, you can change it. Because there's different settings for this range, which is really cool. And, but blue means lithium, so I have it on blue. This means that the battery has power and red on this solar image, uh, this icon, means that the solar panel is collecting sunlight and it is charging this battery. Uh, we are hooked up. This light that's not on is for the alternator. I don't have that hooked up yet. If you remember, I mentioned, I'm gonna make sure the entire system's working good before I connect it to the car because I don't want to screw up the car for some reason. But this thing is working awesome. It powered the fridge, obviously no problem. And I'm very happy with the setup. Now you can see, you don't really, if you, all you need is a fridge and maybe a couple other things, you kind of don't need the fuse panel as long as the items are fused because you can just plug them into that, that, um, that inverter right there, really. I mean, that's like a fuse panel in itself, I guess, in a way. But if you're lighting, if you're, if you're powering hardwired lights, the fuse panel is really important, but I haven't done that yet, so it's not really a big deal. Another thing, this charge controller, do you need one? Well, it's smart to buy one. They're really not that expensive. That was like 250 bucks, and that sets you up for life, pretty much. I mean, anything you want to do, you'll be able to do it. I mean, yeah, it's only 30 amps, but I could get another 100 amp battery, no problem, and use that 30 amp controller. But... Technically speaking, if your solar panel is five amps or less or so, somewhere right around there, you don't need to go through a charge controller. The charge controller, what it does is prevents overcharging. But if you have a if you have a fridge that's hooked up to the battery, 
and you have a solar panel that's hooked up directly to the battery that's a very small solar panel, it's not going to overcharge it because the fridge is going to drain it quicker than you're going get, to gonna get power from the solar panel. So there's no real kind of way to, to overcharge in that scenario. So you really don't need, if you want to do something really cheap, you could buy one of these, these lithiums. And you could buy, I mean, hell, you don't even need the lithium. As I mentioned in the last video, you can just use um, a solar panel hooked right up underneath the hood with an AGM. But then I could save you a lot of money. So there's a lot of different ways to do it. You don't have to go crazy. This is not crazy. And this setup right here was, uh, this is about, a. this is less than $1,000. This is way less. So you got $250, you got $350, so that's $600. Then you got a hundred, that's seven hundred, and then you got some wire, so it's like eight hundred. Even the fuse box, it's like eight fifty total. That's nothing. I mean, if, if, I mean, if, if to have a setup where you you will never run out of juice, eight fifty is pretty damn amazing, and it's totally expandable. I could buy another battery right now and chuck it in right next to it. Done, finished. Now I have two two hundred amps. Those all in one units, those things are great. I, I do love them but they're not expandable and they are they charge a pretty penny for those if you look up our 100 amper it um it's it, it's not cheap it it is not cheap and it's not expandable the charging is not as quick like for instance you couldn't heck a lot of those you can't hook them directly to the alternator and um yeah and then having them hooked it directly to the alternator while also charging in solar you need a you know a really good one for that there's a lot of different things but but they are convenient they are convenient so so that's the setup right now and it's working great and uh, if you have any questions just uh, throw them in the comments all right everyone i'll see you in the next video